Hello, everyone. I am Zhao Chuan. Today, let's draw the body of Succumimus. The body structure of Succumimus was not like that of its relative, the Spinosaurus, but more like dinosaurs that walked on land. It had slender hind limbs. Although its forelimbs were huge, it did not use them when walking. Resembling Spinosaurus, Succumimus also had raised neural spines on its back, but these neural spines were not high enough to form a towering sail structure. They were just wrapped in muscles and looked very strong. In addition, its tail was not a fish-shaped tail like that of Spinosaurus, but had a thin end like most carnivorous dinosaurs, without any structure that could assist swimming. We first determine the position of each body part in the picture, and then start drawing from its mouth. When drawing the upper jaw, pay attention to the position of the gap in its mouth. And then draw its upper teeth. Since we are going to draw this succumus with its mouth closed, its lower jaw will be encased within its upper jaw. Next, we draw its crest, which had a small bump above the eyes. Then, we draw its eyes. Below the eyes we can draw some folds and above the eyes, there would be a bone. Next, behind the eyes, we draw the air hole. Now, we draw its trunk, starting with the neck. The muscles above its neck were well developed. Moving backward from the rear of its neck, we outline its raised back. Extending the underside of the neck, we draw its chest backward. Next, we draw its forelimbs and hindlimbs.
It had four toes on each foot, three of which were thicker and used for walking, and the other was small. Then, we move forward to complete its hands. Finally, let's draw its long tail. We should note that there was a sail-like structure on the dorsal side of a long section, on the base of its tail, which extended from the back. Its tail was thick at the base, and became thinner from the middle. Next, we add some details. First, let's use thinner lines to draw its shoulders. Then, draw some folds at the base of the arms, and some stripes on its belly. There are also some folds on the front and back of its thighs. Next, we show the muscles of its legs. Between its trunk and the neural spines on its back, we can draw a boundary line. On the bottom of its tail, we can draw some folds. At the base of its neck, we can draw many wrinkles. Draw some keratinous sheaths on the dorsal side of the claws, and some shadows on the inside of the limbs. Good, like this, we've finished drawing a complete succumimus.